Staking a claim on the ATP World Tour has never been tougher. However, there are those who are ready to take on the establishment. Over three fascinating weeks and five testing tournaments in Asia, we followed a select group of the game's next generation as they took on the challenge. There's a really good and strong group of guys coming up. We always want to be better, we always want to improve and just be the best of that group. I think we're all having success because we're just playing with just a bit of freedom, you know, we're going out there swinging. It's a lot of pressure trying to make sure that you're keeping up with everybody else. For sure you see one guy do well and you want to do it. You know you can do it because these are the guys that you're grouped in together with and I think we're all going to continue to push each other. We are one of the best guys of our generation. We all have big games and for playing well on the day there's not many people that can, you know, do too much. I think it's very exciting right now. I think there is a bigger and bigger group uh, of the next-gen tennis players that uh, we really need in the game. For a few years, people have been asking, you know, who's going who's to be the uh, next crop of players? I think we are seeing that crop now. It is very important for ATP Tour, you know, to, to have many young players. They are the next generation, so so it's uh, it's good to see them already there, there and uh, see what what they can do. They're tough guys to play against already, so you know, in the next few years they're going to be right up there at the top of the rankings. I think a lot of them are very talented, some are really exciting to watch. I think tennis will always create new superstars. The time of the year known as the Asian Swing begins in China at the Chengdu Open. One of two tournaments taking place in the opening week of the swing, the event is celebrating its inaugural year on the ATP World Tour. Next-gen star Nick Kyrgios arrives with two titles already under his belt in 2016 and with renewed confidence over his improved consistency. My season's had a lot of ups and downs. My career's had a lot of ups and downs, but this year I feel, um, you know, I've slightly gone on the incline. Um, there hasn't been as many dips as there has been the previous years, and, you know, I'm playing great. You know, I just got a strength condition on my team, so I'm really trying to start building the gym and, and build some strengths. You know, hopefully I can build some momentum here and, and, and leading into Tokyo and Shanghai. Adjusting the body and mind to a new part of the world each week is an obstacle to many of the younger generation still learning to deal with the travel. Got in pretty late, so I'm obviously very tired, um, but, you know, came to the hotel, down in the lobby, they brought my bags up into this. You know, I think it's honestly probably like a penthouse suite. It's, it's pretty big. You know, it makes me feel right at home. Obviously brought my PS4, try and make it pretty homely. First full day here today. I've got to go to the courts, get some practice in. I'm going to practice twice, obviously, you know, coming off the flight last night. Recognising the massive physical demands of the ATP World Tour, Nick has added a fitness trainer for the first time in his career, starting this week. After the US Open, retiring injured there, that made me want to want to get you know someone in my team that would prevent those injuries from happening, and, and obviously you know just become stronger as an athlete. And you know I think that's probably essential for me to take that next step in my career is to build physical strength. Although he loses a tough opening round match against Kevin Anderson, Nick remains confident about his prospects for the swing. It was tough, obviously, you know, playing Kevin Anderson on, on fast courts, you know, it's great serving conditions for him and, and we all know he can, he can serve great. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't play my best tennis, but at the same time, you know, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with my performance. Um, you know, I know that the, the more important weeks are coming up, but at the same time, you know, I would have liked to get that win. Across China, the Shenzhen Open is taking place at the same time. Here to make an impression is another next-gen player, fresh from his first title in St. Petersburg, where he beat Stan Wawrinka in the final. 
that tournament really showed me on what level I really am already. And then now I just got to keep up with that and maybe improve even more. The guys in the top 10, they're much more consistent. They, they play final, semi-final every single week they play. That's something I still got to learn and that's something I can improve on. Alexander Zverev made the trip to Shenzhen, but the grueling turnaround after his epic win in St. Petersburg prevented him from competing in the tournament. The withdrawal is a reminder of what it takes to play consistently at the highest level. The ranking is not as important as developing at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm still, still at the young age of my career where I still have to learn a lot of things, where I still you know, have to learn from the best players and just try to get better. And then maybe later in the future years to come, you know, play, play good tennis in the, in the big tournaments. That's, that's what the goal is, and I think that's not only my goal, but that's the goal from my whole team. Oh, come on, you won St. Petersburg, it's okay, let me win here. Also in Shenzhen is 21-year-old Japanese number four, Yoshihito Nishioka. Hovering just inside the top 100, Nishioka is keen to press on. I want to be this year top 50, so it's not yet not enough, so this season I have to keep playing and then focus every time. Now my ranking is getting higher, I can direct me for a main draw ATP tour. This is the beginning for Asian season. I try to do my best and then try to get him better and more ranking. Although Nishioka's time in Asia was not the success he'd hoped for, he remains one of the future stars of Asian tennis.